I ended up becoming an expert on marine bacteria. Made the discovery that cholera, the vibrio cholerae that causes cholera, is in fact a marine vibrio. Now, the medical people didn't like that. It gave me a really hard time. And I've not been exactly a popular figure because I've gone against the grain constantly. Showed that Vibrio cholerae is a marine bacterium. Showed that it's widely distributed in the environment throughout the world. In fact, we even isolated it in Iceland where they've never had cholera. But it's, it grows in a, in a, because it's associated, showed that it was associated with plankton, copepods, and showed that um, it also functions in carbon and nitrogen cycles, hence can never be eradicated. The medical community didn't want to hear this. Um, so um, I eventually showed that we could even predict outbreaks by using satellites when Landsat in 1983 or 85 was launched. It measured chlorophyll, sea surface temperature, <clears throat> and sea surface height. And, and these were parameters that worked very well in uh, association with the other parameters of salinity and temperature and so forth that we, we had uh, developed. And so 20 years ago, I developed a computer model to predict, this was collaboration with NASA, and we were able to predict outbreaks, to, 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 to correlate, correlate outbreaks with chlorophyll and uh, with sea surface temperature and so forth. We've expanded it and now we routinely provide maps, predictive maps, for cholera for Yemen and um, Ethiopia and this will be expanded to other countries in Africa.